Man, get up here in the Zoloft to get your head right. Hey, what's up, America? Welcome to the Zoloft. It's the first Make America Great Again Monday. And I reckon a great display of that greatness is demonstrated by a bunch of disgruntled feminists who've decapitated a bunch of cats and carved out their skulls and dyed them pink and are wearing them as tribal headdresses to promote pussycat power. Minus the cat, of course. Although I reckon they still have claws and it'll hiss, scratch, and bite. And you're probably gonna need a prescription for it. That's one of the reasons why liberals are so big on free healthcare and the so-called services of Planned Parenthood because they want medications for STDs. It's funny how liberals are so irresponsible with their persistence for their sex-focused lifestyle while trying to posture themselves as being so responsible with protection. But that responsible protection must not be working out very well if you're always demanding free medications for STDs and abortions. And since you're obviously too irresponsible to keep from getting the disease, it stands to reason that you're going to continue to be irresponsible and spread the disease that you got to someone else. Hey, you're a real humanitarian. Now I reckon that's not a really good example of making America great again. Aborting kids don't make America great. Now, to my mega folks, America ain't gonna make itself great by itself. A lot of y'all are saying, well, yeah, we know that, but do you know? People get complacent, man, and that's when this sneaky joker gets in. People be thinking they're out of the woods and junk. Mm -mm. Liberals are plotting this scheming right now more than ever to destroy this republic, ready to be even more vicious with their slander and push it for other people to believe it. Do you have the patience and the stamina to repeat the truth as much as they do in repeating their lies? Now, some may ask, Make America great again? When was America great in the first place? Well, what makes America great is what it was founded on. All being created equal by our creator and by him being given certain inalienable rights. The right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The problem is the people who ignore God and the rights he gave us. Like Democrats who wanted to keep the slavery thing going. Didn't want women to vote. Did the Irish dirty, the Chinese, despise Israel, intruded on civil rights, voting rights, etc. Now they pander to and use the very people that they did dirty as their voter stock. And to this day, Democrats still intrude on what would make America great as they have waged war on the pre-born with extreme prejudice. Them some real bullies while accusing Republicans of a war on women. All the bigoted blood of intolerance that America has had on its hands to keep it from being greater for the past 170 years has been drawn by Democrats. Democrats can't even coexist or tolerate a preborn kid. But they want to lecture us about coexisting and tolerance. <laughs> so for those who ask, Psh, when has America ever been great? Yeah, America sucks. It's never been great. Yeah, thanks to you, butthole. Anyway, for those who ask, when has America ever been great? I kind of agree with the question. Because Democrats are always intruding on what would make America greater. But when real Republicans step up with what God gave them to stop Democrat evil, that's an example of what makes America great. Imagine Tommy Lahren with no makeup on and rollers in her hair as America on its worst day. And she still looks better than any other country represented by, I don't know, Debbie Wasserman Schultz on her best day. And remember y'all, when I say that America is the greatest nation on earth, it's not because we're better than anybody else. We are everybody else. Oh, but forget about that. Zoe's just a huge sexist who makes sexist comparisons of Laren's looks versus Wasserman Schultz's looks. This is coming from angry feminists who don't want to be objectified, yet objectify themselves, and want to be respected for their minds while always boasting about their pussycat power. Minus the cat. Now to those who say I'm just preaching to the choir, you know that's kind of an insult. Have you read my hate mail? If I'm preaching to the choir, where does that hate mail come from? And it's not that preaching to the choir is a bad thing anyway. The choir not doing anything with the preaching is a bad thing. But I give props to those who've been getting out there and doing their part though. Liberals preach to the choir all the time and they're constantly in our face with what they've been taught and get other people infected with their loony speak. And their choir grows. So I hope y'all will share my videos more so the choir will grow. Preaching to the choir is bad when you preach crap to the choir and the bad choir takes that crap out into the world and spreads it around. Or preaching to the choir is bad when you preach something good to the choir and the choir doesn't do anything. It doesn't get out there and spread it around. So if you just watch my videos, which I think has a pretty decent message in it, and you don't spread it around, then that would be an example of what's bad about preaching to the choir. While the liberal choir grows from spreading what's bad. Don't be complacent. We got the victory, but now we gotta keep the victory from liberals who are losing their minds on par with a zombie apocalypse and trying to infect others. Freedom ain't free. 
Now, y'all keep saying that, but a lot of people who keep saying that don't like to put their money where that saying keeps coming from. Freedom costs. And I really hope I can get more of y'all to support and contribute to me building my production company. Liberals get lots of funding to make media that rots. I hope y'all will be just as supportive and help me to make media that rocks. Part of making America great again is making great media again. And unfortunately, entertainment media has been greatly used to bring America to the mess that it's in now. I hope you'll support efforts like Bronze Serpent Media to help reverse that. Thank you so much to y'all who have been supporting all these years. I hope more of y'all will come through and realize the legion that we're up against. It took eight years to land a good punch to that legion. And it's getting back up already. We have to keep it on the ropes, y'all. I hope you'll help me do my part and find the media that I do worth sponsoring. Oh, and before I forget, I've gotten a few comments from folks saying that they don't like Demo. You're not supposed to like Demo. Have you noticed that the liberals have made the works of the devil likable? Demo is supposed to get on your nerves. You're supposed to wish he would go away. Screw you. Pfft, screw tape you. Thanks again for hanging out with me and Zoloff, y'all. Be sure to share with your friends, family, even people who get on your nerves. Because remember, y'all, when you share and support my work, a little bit of leftism dies. Although I reckon they still have claws and it'll hit, scratch, and bite.